Well, a battle is brewing in Illinois over the care of veterans. It pits Mayor Rahm Emanuel against Governor Bruce Rauner. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely picks up our story. Governor Rauner is about to spend his third night at the Quincy Veterans Home with First Lady Diana scheduled to join him. Since 2015, 13 residents at the state-run home have died from Legionnaire's disease. I think the governor, uh, like all of us, wanted to make sure that he understood what was going on at the home. But while the governor's in Quincy, Mayor Emanuel ripped Rauner for stopping construction on a Chicago veterans home on the northwest side, delayed two years ago when the budget crisis began. Bring your sleeping bag and you can go stay up there and then hopefully you'll realize why that project should be finished and the 75 veterans should be sleeping there in a warm facility. The state says construction has resumed. Foundation repairs and interior work this winter with completion scheduled next year. But while Emanuel was criticizing Rauner, another Democrat praised him for his attention to Quincy. I think the fact that the governor has now visited and is now staying overnight at the Quincy Veterans Home shows that it's high on his priority list. A CDC report issued today said the state's taken major steps toward improvement, but totally wiping out legionnaires can't be guaranteed. What the CDC report says in that regard is that in any large, complex system, even with a water management plan, the risk of Legionella infections cannot be eliminated. Several candidates for governor, including Democrats J.B. Pritzker and Chris Kennedy and Republican Jeannie Ives, have all accused Rauner of management failures at the Quincy home. In a statement late today, the governor says his visit is a show of support for the veterans who live there and the staff that cares for them. Rauner saying his stay will extend until the middle of next week. Robin Erica, Senator Durbin has certainly done a turnaround here. He was once calling for this facility to be shut down. He now says he's going to muster all the money he can, the federal dollars he can, to keep it open and safe. Yeah, I was trying to think of the last time Senator Durbin agreed with the governor, but was there a lot of shock? Did they anyone expect him to take this position today? We were kind of surprised. We thought he was kind of going down there to, to rip the governor, but they met along with veterans and staff members, and uh, each seems to acknowledge that they need each other, and also uh, Durbin acknowledges that some progress has been made, although there's still a ways to go. That is an intriguing shift. Mm. Derek, thanks.